Welcome back to the shop, guys. This week on the channel, it's Valentine's Day. If you've watched any of my videos, you've actually seen my wife helping me in the shop, and she is really, really wonderful. So I wanna tell the person that I love with something I make with love. So stick around. I'm Stoner Erickson from Erickson Design Company, and let's build something. Ta-da! We're gonna hop right in here and take a half inch piece of birch plywood and spray paint it with this love red. Now this plywood on the ends was pretty beat up, the veneer was, so I'm gonna cut it down to 20 inches and then I'm gonna cut an inch off the other side. Moving over to the X carve, I'm gonna put double-sided tape on the back of this and I'm gonna cut out all four or five sides of this on the X-carve. So I'm gonna use double-sided tape and using my tape measure, I'm gonna lay out where those are gonna go so that the pieces don't slide around if the tabs accidentally carve all the way through. Now I'm gonna take some one and a quarter inch screws and I'm gonna screw it down on all four sides. This will hold it super tight and I do have a sacrificial piece of quarter inch here so I don't mess up my actual spoil board from Inventables. I'm gonna set up my cameras and then home my machine. I'll go ahead and probe the machine. This is a two flute, one eighth straight cut bit. And then I'm gonna actually gonna close the enclosures to keep all the dust in. And then let's get to carving. It's always better to make someone a personalized gift. Check out my Christmas gift series. I made like six or seven gifts for people. Everyone that I needed to make a gift for. For Christmas and it was super fun to me to be in the shop and the whole time you're making it you're thinking of the person you're making it for that's why a personalized gift is better than just buying something now if you like fun and creative videos like this hit that subscribe button and do it and do it now once the carve is complete I'm going to open up the enclosure now I do vacuum off the dust a couple times through this process just to show you guys how the X-Carve is carving. And don't get me wrong, I have actually made a lot of mistakes on this X-Carve, and sometimes it whines and moans. I think I need to actually spend a little time tightening the belts and oiling the gantry. But I'm just gonna break down the pieces here, cut off the tabs, and kind of roughly lay it out. Over to the table saw, I'm going to cut off the actual wine glass holders. Now, I didn't even tell you what we're going to be making here. We're going to make her a wine bottle and a glass holder wall mount piece. Now, I was going to cut these basically drawer sides on the table saw long ways. I used to do that in the cabinet shop all the time, but it's a little too dangerous, so I'll take it to the chop saw and nip off a half inch off of each side. Then I'm going to make some sides for it out of the extra piece I cut and they're about five and a half inches by the four inches. Now I'm just going to lay it out and look at it. It's going to be really cool. I think she's going to love it. I taped off the lettering part here and then I spray painted all the exposed sides. I'm going to use some of the Type Bond Quick Set Glue. This is one of my favorite glues I use. Again, I'm not sponsored by them. And then I'm going to use some three quarter inch nails, brad nails, and I'm going to nail it together. Remember to follow me on Instagram. I do previews to all these projects and it's a great way to stay in the loop. And it's an easy way for me to engage with you guys every day. Now, I also recently got on TikTok. My wife and I have been making funny ones on the weekend. We think they're funny. I'm sure not a lot of other people do, but TikTok is way more fun and there's a good woodworking presence on it. So find me on TikTok. It's, it's a lot of fun. Now I'm using these brad nails, like pin nails, just to hold the piece together till the glue sets up. The glue is what's really gonna hold it. My wife's not a huge wine drinker, more of a collector, but she has an occasional glass every now and again. So this is a really personalized gift for her. And as I pull this front carve off, it is awesome. She is gonna love it.
Don't get me wrong, guys. There was a few failures on the way to get to this. This was a prototype that I did, and it had... It was just going to be attached to the wall with some glasses hangers on it and the same saying be wine valentine instead of be my valentine and to make it to this with the the bottle holders i'll actually deliver this to her with a bottle inside and to hold all the glasses is so cool you're limited by your imagination only and i hope that you guys are building stuff like this leave me a comment of what you'd like to see me build in the future Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos right here. And I'm Stoner Erickson from Erickson Design Company, and we built something. Ta-da!